the capital body conflict. How does capital attack women's bodies? The capitalist system renders the care work carried out by women invisible, yet simultaneously takes advantage of it. The capitalist system does not function by magic. Instead, it is powered by women's invisible labor. We live in an exploitative system that prioritizes work as a source of wealth and accumulation. How does capital exploit our bodies? The capitalist system disciplines our bodies for work, subjecting them to forms of exploitation, such as trade, for example, the business of assisted reproduction, expropriation, as women's bodies exist not for their own enjoyment, but to care for others judgment and punishment based on the canons of beauty imposed upon us. Women reclaim our bodies in an attempt to limit the expansion of capitalism. We defend our sexual and reproductive rights and our right to bodily integrity. We demand that our bodies be free to make use of our time and territory as a barrier to the ever-encroaching tentacles of the market. Capital Time Conflict the system imposes an imperialist rhythm on our time, whereby our lives revolve around employment and consumption. Care is not a priority and we must eke out time to provide it. Globalization, the internet and other forms of technological innovation have compressed space and time, resulting in an overload of tasks. The system also rejects the rhythms of nature. In winter, we want to live as if it were summer. The supermarkets are full of fruit, even when it is not in season. Feminist economics calls for the working day to be redistributed and for both the state and community to be involved in guaranteeing the collective right to care, for example, by creating childcare networks in neighborhoods or public daycare centers. We must break away from productivism and the anxiety of always having to do more. For women, productivism is also mixed with guilt at not being able to do everything. Capital Territory Conflict Capital dispossesses us of our territories. It fragments them and imposes borders so that we are increasingly separated and less able to organize. Owning our territory allows us to organize to care for the common good. Examples such as the platform for those affected by mortgages and women defending their land against the extractivism by multinational corporations challenge this system that dispossesses us of the places we live in. The system imposes a rupture with nature, which it sees as a mere service provider. Feminist economics aims to bring body, time, territory back together. In order to identify alternatives, we must be aware of our pace of life and our body's needs, feeling a sense of belonging to a territory that sets its own rhythms. Feminist economics calls for the elements that are essential for the common good to be prioritized over the interests of the market.